I'm going down to the house of sausage. I got my barbecue shoes on. I'm going down to the house of sausage. I got my barbecue shoes on. Welcome to barbecuepitboys.com. Today we're going to do some rib steaks on the grill. Man, it's real easy to do. All right, here I've got uh, two steaks. These are uh, what they call rib steaks, and uh, sometimes they're sold as rib eyes, even though it has a bone in there. And uh, these are about an inch and a half thick each, maybe three pounds in total weight. All right, now, these are real easy to do on the grill. Now, here are a few ingredients we're going to use for the grill. I've got some dried mustard there. I've got some onions. I've got some butter. I've got some mushrooms. Here I've got some salt. I've got some seasoning here. That's a steak seasoning. Here I've got some garlic flakes. And you're going to need uh, some good oil, some black peppercorn. Here I've got some beef broth or good beef stock. Got some Worcestershire. And here I've got a little uh, red pepper sauce. All right, let's get this going. Now, I've got some uh, potatoes going on here. I'm baking up some potatoes. And uh, they've already been on the grill for maybe an hour and a half. And if you've cooked uh, baked potatoes on the grill before, you know it takes a couple hours to do these uh, potatoes. So we've started them early. Now, the magic of this uh, recipe here is the sauce. We're going to make some steak sauce from scratch. And uh, in order to do that, first, we're going to trim off some of the fat on this steak. Now you can see uh, there's a lot of fat in a ribeye, and uh, but that's a lot of good eating there. And we're going to uh, take some of these uh, trimmings here and we're going to uh, sear them on the grill. This here is going to be the basis of our steak sauce. All right, that's good enough. Now we're going to, uh, like I said, sear both sides here and uh, get them caramelized. And here I've got some seasoning. This here is some black pepper, some granulated garlic, some coarse salt. Use your uh, favorite uh, steak spices for this. Man, there's nothing like rib steaks on the grill. You're going to have to check this out. Now, for this uh, steak sauce here, we're going to uh, cut up an onion. And then we've got a uh, black iron pan going here. Uh, we're directly on the coals. We're going to saute up these onions a bit. Now, of course, you're going to add a little bit of oil on that. Now, this is kind of optional. Uh, we're going to throw uh, some slices of mushroom in there. It might be a quarter pound. If you don't like mushrooms, you don't need to add this. Oh, yeah, grilling up that steak fat. Now, here we have some uh, beef stock. I'm just going to pour a few tablespoons in there right now. I'm going to soften up these mushrooms. And to that, we're going to add about, oh, maybe one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. About a teaspoon of fresh ground black peppercorn. Give it a good stir.
Oh yeah, he's coming right along. We're just gonna add some of this to the sauce. Yeah, this is one time the dogs aren't gonna get the beef fat. Now, to this sauce, I'm gonna add about, oh, one teaspoon of dry mustard. And here I'm gonna add maybe a teaspoon, maybe a teaspoon and a half of granulated garlic flake. And just a pinch of salt. that beef fat in there. Gonna add a lot of good flavor to this sauce. Now this here is optional as well. Just gonna add a little tab of butter. Man, it smells good already. All right, let's clear off the table. Now, of course, uh, you're doing up steaks. Good steak is nothing without a good onion. So uh, we're going to uh, cut up a couple onions here and we're going to grill them up. Now you know all about cutting up onions, but uh, let me show you a different way of doing them come out real good this way. All right, let's clean off the table again. Now, what you want to do with these onions is uh, cut about 90% through the onion down on a cross pattern. cut all the way through because we're going to keep these onions together. Again, just do a cross cut both sides. Just throw them on the grill like that. Add a little bit of your favorite oil, like some olive oil. We're going to slow cook them. Man, sauce is going along good here. And this is where I'm going to add the rest of that beef broth. It's about a cup in total. This will be enough for a couple steaks. And this here is optional, but I'm going to put about a teaspoon of red pepper sauce in there. All right, let's cook this up for a while. All right, now that sauce is about simmered down a little bit. Put the cover on, take it off the fire. Now let's get those steaks on the grill. Man. Now we'll put those potatoes back on there. Rewarm them up. Now we're cooking over about medium coals here, and uh, we're going to sear both sides of these steaks first. All right, a few minutes has gone by. We want to flip these steaks. Hoo Life is good around the pit. Eating up some rib steaks. 
All right, a couple more minutes on the other side. Let's clear off this table for the food police. All right, a couple more minutes has gone by. These potatoes out of the way because uh, these steaks, we're going to move off direct coals and move them indirect. There's no coals on this side, and uh, these steaks are rare at this point. So we're going to cook them the rest of the way, but now we won't have to worry about burning. Put the cover on. All right, I'd say it's just about time to eat. Take a look at that. Pull these steaks off the grill. Let them rest for maybe four or five minutes. Grab this uh, black iron pot here and reheat up that steak sauce. Getting hungry or what? Look at them onions. Couple more minutes. it's time to plate some of these steaks up. And it's nothing like a ribeye. Trim it down a little bit, take a little more excess fat off. You got real tender, plenty of flavor. Grab a baked potato. Grab one of these onions. Here I have a little bit of shredded cheese here. I'm gonna put on that onion. Cut up this potato. Grab a little of this magic juice. Whoa. Pour it all over these potatoes, onions, and steak. Lord have mercy. Now let me apologize right now because uh, I'm going to have to try a little bit of this right now, right in front of me. So the next time you're looking for a recipe for your barbecue, you check out barbecuepitboys.com.